nakagawian na nating mga Pilipino na patuloy pa rin ang ating pagsuporta sa ating mga magulang. For every person that is added to the family, you are faced to the fact na your resources are limited. Hanggang saan ba ang responsibilidad ng anak sa mga magulang? Smart Parenting fam, thanks for getting ready with me. Kahit konti lang, di ba? You got ready with me in my sort of like walk-in closet. Bahay niyo na kikilala dahil medyo gumlam up si Mama today. Uh, to give you a little bit of trivia, I started working in the showbiz industry when I was only 12 years old, and that's pretty young. And eventually ended up helping my family in the process. And bagay yan sa topic na i-discuss natin today. So what shaking for today, moms and dads of our smart parenting family? Nakagawian na nating mga Pilipino na patuloy pa rin ang ating pagsuporta sa ating mga magulang, usually financially, kahit na magkaroon na tayo ng sarili nating pamilya. Even after getting married and having children on our own, and this is really a very conflicting time for a lot of especially newly married people. At lalo na pag nagkaanak, kasi dyan mo naman feel na lumalaki na yung gastos. For every person that is added to the family, you are faced to the fact na your resources are limited. <laughs> and you gotta find a way to sustain the resources that keep coming to you monthly, di ba? Kasi nga, ganun talagang bumuhay ng tao. Pero ang tanong natin for today ay, kahit nakagawian, tama bang ipagpatuloy? O kaya ba natin mag-establish ng healthy boundaries? Do we still keep supporting our parents even though we already have our own family? So bago ang lahat, basahin muna natin yung mga nakolek natin sa ating Smart Parenting Village because we did ask some of you to answer a poll and also to share your thoughts regarding the topic. So, dun sa poll, sabi namin, hanggang saan ba ang responsibilidad ng anak sa mga magulang? Hanggang sa kaya mo kahit mayroon kang pamilya? Hanggang bukal sa loob mo ang pagtulong at hindi ka napipilitan? Third is, hanggat hindi pa nakakaapekto sa budget sa sariling pamilya and kapag kaya pa ng budget and the last is hanggang wala ka pa ang sariling Pamilya. Meron naman tayong qualitative, yung mga nag-share talaga ng thoughts nila. Jen Gamez, Loresco, Forever I can't speak in general, pero in my case, kasi na kahit walang wala na, kasama sila sa budget ko as a sign of my appreciation and honor to them. Hmm. Very sacrificial. Pam Baroro said, a parent of multiple kids, if my ex job bigay sa parents and mom ni partner, but, inuuna ko ang pamilya ko kasi walang ibang tutulong sa amin and to end din sa cycle. And maging okay din ang retirement namin. For context, we are a family of five and one income lang kami. You know, this is why I love hearing from our village because they are very contextual when they answer. You guys, you answer from a real experience that you're going through. And because we have different experiences, we get different perspectives as well. Kasi madaling magsabi ng isang generic answer, di ba? Pero minsan hindi talaga applicable kasi hindi naman ganun yung buhay mo. I have my advice, but you always have to go with what you think is best for your context. So what we're doing right now is just, you know, we're offering. Kaya nga tayo, paprika. We're going to throw in the different spices that we could throw in and let the flavor really come out. So pag-usapan na muna natin, una, Salt. What is traditional? What are the ideas worth preserving when it comes to this topic? Siguro, gaya ng narinig natin from our smart parenting village, yung lalo na yung isa na nagsabi na kahit walang wala na siya, I would still give something to my parents. And I think that's a very honorable trait, really. I know this question surfaced because it's really a hard thing to do. More often than not, nakakasagabal talaga ito sa buhay mo bilang may isang pamilya na na kailangan mo pang sumuporta ng iba. And yet, at the same time, I see the beauty of sino pa ba talaga ang tutulong dun sa mga taong bumuhay sa'yo. Lalo na, if you come from an ideal set of parents in that kahit na hindi naman ganun kayaman, they did everything to make you live a very good life. 
So that's a very good idea to preserve. Now let's honor our parents. And financially, you are able to. Yun yung idea that's worth preserving. Na pwede natin silang bigyan hanggat sa makakaya natin. Pero on the spicier side of things naman, lagyan natin konting pepper. May paminta. <laughs> Ako, I've experienced this myself na when I met some people around my mid-twenties, they were telling me that I was already giving too much to my family. And take note, my family ha, not just my parents. Parang to the point na I should be thinking about myself also. And if you think of more Western cultures, by 18, dapat independent ka na, you are on your own, and um, you're no longer dependent on us, and we're not dependent on you. So they're independent of each other. In a way, if you're a Filipino, that sounds harsh. But also in a way, when you see it, there are good points to it. Like there are very good effects born out of that thinking na pag 18, you are on your own. Kasi napipilitan talaga yung taong humanap ng paraan na buhayin yung sarili niya. Nagiging practical, nagiging street smart. Let's face it, like here in the Philippines, because... We're so collective in our thinking and communal at times na minsan, hindi na nakakaangat sa buhay yung iba dahil kailangan laging magkakasama. There are good points and bad points for both the salt and the pepper sides, the traditional way of doing things, and the major advanced way or modern way of doing this. Okay, so ito na. Paprika, what is my take on the subject? Siguro before I even give the take, let me share with you know, where I'm coming from. So like I said earlier, I've been working since I was 12. I really did not naman start out working because I needed to help the family. We just tried it out because the opportunity was there. Um, and it was working. Yun din naman yung time na medyo bumagsak yung negosyo ng tatay ko. And eventually, what happened was I assumed a lot of the responsibilities of my parents and started providing for our family. And we are a big family. So I started providing for not only for my parents, but for the entire household. So mga kapatid ko, mga anak din ng kapatid ko. Not naman completely just me, no? Meron namang ginagawa rin yung mga kapatid ko. But I would not deny that a big bulk fell under my responsibility. And that was a very big thing to be thinking about in my very young years. <laughs> it was my joy to give to my family. And I could. There was enough, more than enough, coming in for me to be able to treat my family that way. However, of course, tumatanda tayo. And like what was mentioned earlier, paano kapag may sarili ka ng pamilya? Hindi ba? Diyan naman talaga nagkakaroon ng conflict. Kasi dyan mo na nga makukuha yung reality na ang resources natin ay limited. And so, this begins my take on the subject. The first thing to note is that there are several occurring realities and they are all seemingly pressing. Na yung tipong hindi ka makapag-prioritize kasi lahat immediate and urgent yung need. We need the money for a family. They need the money. The money is limited. And last of all, we are in a developing country. <laughs> Hi! Manu! Oh, oh. You have to, to be with me as I do this. You stay here, quiet, yeah? Okay with you? Manu, do you have pupu? Okay, let's ano your pupu first. <laughs> the spicier side of things kasi, when I mentioned that more individualized and westernized countries have this culture of kicking their kids out at 18. Kaya rin nila kasing gawin yun dahil yung sistema na nila bilang nation ay already built in such a way that can support all of their people. Diba? So it is very important also to not forget that may mga gusto tayong apply sa sarili natin pero we also have to look at our context na we're in a developing country and the reality is um, we don't have as much resources. So, ito na tayo, di ba nga? We need money, they need money, our money is not overflowing. Those three are valid realities. They're really realities. And also, none of them are, say, more important or more pressing. Magkakapareho lang yan ng bigat sa buhay natin. Kung mapapansin ninyo, medyo objective yung pag-atake ko. Or I'm trying to make things clearer for us by putting them in bullet points and 
Well, the reason behind it is because, you know, the decision to continue or not continue supporting our parents after having a family of our own is a very emotional decision. We tend to choose what feels more pressing as of the moment but the, without seeing the reality na lahat naman ito ay valid. At meron tayong mas magandang paraan na makikita if only we will take a step back from our emotions and see the picture more objectively. So, I detailed it out na may pangangailangan sila, may pangangailangan ako, pero yung pera ko ay hindi naman overflowing. It is a limited resource. So, kailangan natin mag-decide ng best possible solution based on the facts. Now that we have the facts out there, susunod din nating isipin yung ano ba yung mga pwede nating gawin. What are my options? Do you continue supporting? Do you withdraw supporting? Or do you just occasionally bless them? Or you continue supporting however you will lessen it significantly than how you have supported before. Let me share you something that I did. 